Calipo. Not so very long ago, an old man lived by himself in the backwoods of West Virginia. He had a log cabin with a single room that held a stove, a bed, a table, a chair, and a big open fireplace built of field stone. One night, the man sat eating a plate full of beans and bread, regretting that he hadn't been able to catch a single fish in the lake behind his cabin or bag a single possum or deer for his supper. He was startled to look across the table to see the strangest creature he had ever seen, sitting on its haunches in the far corner of the room, staring at him. It had jaws like a weasel, ears like a fox, piercing yellow eyes like an owl, a monkey's body, and was covered in bright red fur. But mainly, it had a huge, long tail that coiled around and around, the way Rattler coils on itself before it strikes. What the? cried the man. How did you get in here? He grabbed the carving knife from beside the loaf of bread and went after the animal. The thing gave a screech like nothing the man had ever heard before, then it scrambled out a hole between two of the cabin's logs. But it wasn't quick enough. With a single slice, the man cut the creature's tail off while the rest of the animal scampered away into the woods. The man walked back to the table, stretched out the tail, marveling at its length. After a few minutes, he decided meat was meat, and that was what he was hungry for right now. So he cooked up the tail, found it tasted like a rabbit, and ate it all in one sitting. After that, he plugged up the hole between the logs, went to bed, and was soon fast asleep. He hadn't been asleep very long when he heard something scratching at the door, just like a cat. Pretty soon, he heard a call. taily po taily po Just give me my taily po Now he had three dogs that slept under the house. He whistled for them, and they came charging out and chased the creature off into the woods. But only two of his dogs came back. When the man saw this, he cursed the blue streak. Then he sent the dogs to sleep underneath the floorboards and went back to bed himself. A short time later, he heard the same clawing at the front door as the creature tried to get in. Then he heard it call through the crack on the door. Taily po Taily po Just give me my Taily po Once again, the man whistled for his dogs underneath the cabin. They chased the creature all the way down the road, snapping so close behind it, if it still had a tail, it would have lost it to the hounds. The man heard the dogs giving chase until the woods swallowed up the sound, but later, only one dog returned. Again, the man cursed loudly. This time, he had his remaining dog sleep at the foot of the bed. In the smallest hours of the morning, he heard something scrabbling at the window, like a night bird trying to get in. Through the crack in the glass, he heard, Taily po Taily po I've got to get my Taily po Quick as he could, he flung open the cabin door and sent his last dog into the night. He heard the dog charging around the corner of the cabin and heard the creature screeching and scrambling away. After that, things were pretty quiet. But the last hound never did return. The man stayed awake a long time listening but he heard nothing more finally just before dawn he fell asleep but he woke up a few minutes later he was sure he heard something in the room he looked into the dark corner and saw the patch he put over the hole was gone then he heard something scrambling at the foot of his bed a minute later he saw a fox's ears a weasel's jaws and two yellow eyes just like an owl looking at him he tried calling for his dogs but they were gone he was too frightened to climb out of bed he just kept staring while the red monkey-like creature crept closer and closer taily po Taily po it growled. Give me my taily po But, 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 the man stuttered. I haven't got your taily po Then the horrible creature, which was by then sitting on the man's knees, snarled and said, Oh, yes, you have. And then jumped on the man's chest and scratched him all to pieces. There are those that say the creature got its taily po back, and some who say it didn't. But the fact is, that old man and his dogs were never seen in West Virginia or anywhere else ever again. <laughs>